big questions. What are spider webs made from and how strong are they? By the conversation. Image 1. A European garden spider spinning a web in early autumn. Spider webs are made from a soft fiber called silk, and silk is made from something scientists call proteins. Proteins are special chemicals made by a living thing, such as an animal or a plant. You have lots of them in your body. Proteins usually have a certain job to do. Some join together to make something bigger. For example, your hair and your nails both are made of a protein called keratin. Different silks, different purposes. Insects and spiders make silk in a special part of their body called a gland. They use their legs to pull the silk out of their bodies. This is known as spinning. Most spiders have more than one kind of silk gland. Each silk has a different amount of strength and stretchiness. Different silks have different purposes. Some are used to build web frames. Some are designed to be sticky. Others are used to cover and protect eggs. The quality of the silk depends on the way the spider's body arranges the silk proteins. Spiders spin strong silk webs so they can catch insects to eat. They have evolved to do this. This means that long ago, spiders that made stronger webs were more likely to survive. They caught more insects and had more babies. Other spiders were not as lucky. Those that made weaker webs caught fewer insects and had fewer babies. Cross between steel and rubber. Spiders have been evolving for millions of years. Today, some make silk that is very, very strong. We do not usually notice just how strong because the fibers are so thin. The strongest silk is produced by the golden orb spider. It is actually stronger than steel. Even more amazing, the silk is about 50 times as light as steel. Actually, spider silk is like a cross between steel and rubber. Humans still do not know how to make anything like it. No other material is as strong, stretchy, and light. Spiders are the champions. Most people know that spiders and silkworms make silk, but did you know that many other animals also make silk? Silk-making animals include crickets, caterpillars, and glowworms. Ants, bees, and flies make silk, too. Some animals make silk to protect themselves. For example, crickets use silk to sew leaves together to build nests. Others, such as dance flies, use silk in mating. The male dance fly woos the female with food wrapped in silk. Other creatures use silk for hunting. Spiders are in this group. Sticky silk helps them capture flying animals to eat. Fake silk. Scientists are close to making artificial silk. For example, a scientist named Tara Sutherland can now make bee silk proteins. She makes them using bacteria. Sutherland can spin the proteins into solid strings. They are similar to those made by bees. You could become a scientist too. Perhaps you will find a way to make something as strong and as special as spider silk. Here are your comprehension questions. Number one, read the paragraph below from the section cross between steel and rubber. Some animals make silk to protect themselves. For example, crickets use silk to sew leaves together to build nests. Others, such as dance flies, use silk in mating. The male dance fly woos the female with food wrapped in silk. Other creatures use silk for hunting. Spiders are in this group. Sticky silk helps them capture flying animals to eat. What conclusion can the reader make based on this paragraph? A. Crickets, dance flies, and spiders use silk to hunt other animals for food. B. Spiders and other animals are part of a group that uses silk for mating. C. The main reason different animals make silk is to protect themselves. D. Many different animals make and use silk for many different reasons. Number two, 
Which selection helps the reader understand that spider silk is a unique material? A. Insects and spiders make silk in a special part of their body called a gland. They use their legs to pull the silk out of their bodies. This is known as spinning. B. This means that long ago, spiders that made stronger webs were more likely to survive. They caught more insects and had more babies. Other spiders were not as lucky. C. Actually, spider silk is like a cross between steel and rubber. Humans still do not know how to make anything like it. No other material is as strong, stretchy, and light. D. Most people know that spiders and silkworms make silk, but did you know that many other animals also make silk? Number three. How does Tara Sutherland make artificial silk? A. She takes silk threads and copies them using bees and bacteria. B. She takes the proteins out of bees and then spins them to make silk. C. She uses the silk from bees to mix with bacteria to make a protein. D. She uses bacteria to make proteins that are later spun into strings. Number four, complete the sentence. Because spiders have many silk glands, A. They can make different types of silk that each have a special job. B. They always have another gland ready to go when one runs out. C. They are able to make many different webs at the same time. D. They can pull both real and fake silk out of their bodies.